you are still watching Ways now, every last Friday in April is National Arbor Day and it's celebrated every last Friday. Now, National mm -hmm. Arbor Day is the tree planter's holiday and has been celebrated since 1872. It began in Nebraska, a largely treeless plain back in the 1800s. Now, it's a day to plant and dedicate a tree to help nature and the environment. Millions of trees are planted on this day um, the National Arbor Day Foundation provides millions of trees for planting and it is estimated that 18 million trees are planted each year on this day. Very important. 18 million is a good number, but why does it feel like it's, I don't know, like it's not making any impact in the globe or anything? Because sure? global warming and all that, it gets worse as the day goes by. So just know. imagine if these trees were not planted. Well, absolutely. A tree, plant a tree a day makes a lot of difference. It makes a world of difference. Yeah. Who knew? National Arbor Day. Yeah. Fantastic. I well, do plant a tree though. Let's, let's, keep, let's keep things like that alive. I mean, in all our compounds, at least have one or two trees, you know. Oh, we do. We have How many like, people um, do? In the garden, we have like papaw tree. Mm -hmm. We have this other, um, you know, the ones for decoration. And then you have this what, avocado tree that doesn't have fruit. So we cut it down and now it's growing again. So, yeah. In your compound? Trees. Yeah. Mm, that's no, nice. actually, outside the gate. You know, like the mini, you, you, the are mini the different, garden. you are the different breed. <laughs> You know all those, all those developers that want to build ev with the entire square meter, not even giving room for parking lots. No, those ones they will not if, think of even the trees. Trees like uh, coconut trees mm. uh, and maybe pawpaw trees, they don't take a lot of space. It's just mm. like one, one square meter or something. Well, just plant a tree. That's what is important. True. Yeah, so Sansi, what did you find first in the news? Okay, so in the news, um, obviously the Ramadan started uh, today, so I decided to just check up in the north and see what is going on there, aside from the devastating news of the corona spread we're getting from Kano. But I think the world has had enough of um, COVID numbers. So I decided to check up on another issue that is affecting um our colleagues in the north, that is broadcasters in the north, and um, Northern Broadcast Media Owners Association is calling on government for help because advert revenues are drying up. And according to what I read, about 40 radio and TV stations across the northeast, northwest and north central are being affected with about 40,000 employees possibly going to lose their job if wow. the government doesn't intervene. And I, I think it's important I quote them one of, the one of the members said, even before the advent of the COVID-19 scourge, um, Northern Broadcast Media Owners Association have operated on meager revenues due to the absence of big industry in the region, as we all shared from a small basket of advertising revenue mm -hmm. that occasionally trickled in from Lagos-based advertising agency. As it is, even agency revenue has been eclipsed by the effect of COVID-19 on our national economy. We are unarguably in a precarious situation. Thus, we are in need of help. He also goes ahead to say we have always, we have also been in the forefront of accentuating sensitization campaigns against terrorism, banditry, and kidnappings at all three tiers of administration in the country, as well as consistently broadcasting content in support of publicity um, efforts of government on the COVID-19 at no cost. So basically, they're pleading their case, you know, and. Um, well, I just want to put in um, a little something here. That's for advertisers who are watching mostly. It's true that the Northerners, their purchasing power is not so big, which makes it obvious why they would rather advertise in places like Abuja and um, and Lagos and Port Harcourt and the, the major cities. But it's also important that we remember that media, especially broadcast media, rides a lot on um, on ad advertising revenues. So, so um, what I think I would suggest to the northern media guys, yeah. media in this time and age, you have to be very strategic mm -hmm. and don't think because you are a media house, I'll put my money there and deliver mediocrity. So have you listened to some of these um, stations that you're talking about? I've listened to a couple in Kaduna. Yeah, and I know. Quite frankly, it, it, they are good okay. Content. They're fine. They're good content. But you have to upgrade yourself as well. See, let me tell you something about attracting the big numbers, big investors. It is not, it's not with sentiments or emotions that they would invest in your product. You also have to deliver something that is worth their attention. Do you get what I'm saying? Because whatever it is that we're talking about, I hear you, and I hear you completely, and I agree with you. But I'm saying mm -hmm. to the people in broadcasting as well, upgrade yourself. 
you know don't just say because i'm in broadcast is automatic that somebody will drop my money because the the competition is going to get much more fierce than this this is supposedly a media house that we are saying okay media people they are still working is essential and yet you're complaining and crying so that's to tell you that I it's going to get worse i completely disagree well, i mean i i agree with you saying upgrade yourselves and all that but listen the difference there is a big difference the northern market is a bit laid back on like lagos where it's overpopulated you, for but one are they, so if are you advertise, people advertising so people advertisers are being strategic okay right? we're going so to talk if, about this i think this is a good hot topic to deliberate oh, on. well let me take okay. my story <laughs> Donald Trump claims he he was being sarcastic when he suggested um, injecting disinfectants to 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 treat the coronavirus. This was mm -hmm. a day after suggesting that and got a very fierce um, backlash. I am super, you know, like I give up on Donald Trump, President oh, Donald come Trump. On. No, technically, really, I give up. You are someone in a position of power. You shouldn't make a joke out of this currently we're, talk we're talking relationships with some people are already hysterical they're already afraid so anything somebody that is supposedly a, um, a person of authority says they take it now remember we've not recovered from a month ago when he mentioned uh what's it called chloroquine now you're coming to say that or perhaps maybe the sign if the doctors could just maybe give it a search since in a, in, a, in a second when you apply disinfectant the, the virus dies so maybe they should find a way how can you even say that someone was arguing with me that nobody i mean let's not sensationalize it and all of that this is not a, an issue of i don't want to be part of the people that are sensationalizing whatever the story but what i am saying is you yeah. are a man of authority a public figure a lot of people, millions of people look up to you. Right. Don't be careless. This is not the time to joke around things and now come back to say you are being sarcastic. That is not sarcasm. Okay, well, you know what? That is say? the height of ignorance. You know, would I say ignorance? I would say that he's a bit, he's been a bit careless with his words. You know what they say? Like, no matter how stupid your idea is, share it. I think he you was, don't share it. Hold in on. Public. Hold on. I think he was abiding by that rule. But however, I understand you. He's a head of state, almost the head of the world. Right. So if if you're going to make out, make a statement, understand that you're impacting even beyond, you know, the American states, uh, states of America, you are the world is listening to you. That I think you should be a lot now, more a doctor, careful with his A doctor words. was being interviewed by Hala Gurali, and I think on CNN, I was watching. Yeah. He was saying this, I think Dr. Satya, he was saying that even when people like commit suicide, like attempt to commit suicide and they eventually rush them to hospitals, some of these people have ingested um, um, all this insecticide, um, disinfectants and all of that. Mm -hmm. They do not remain the same again. You know, they have scarred windpipe. He mentioned a few things that, that they eventually develop because of this. So you, I mean, that is how, so would you, you know the question I want to ask Donald okay. Trump, please, if you say, um, uh, what's it called, debt all or whatever, is it, you go and take it so that maybe when it works for you, then we'll know. So thankfully, the disinfectant companies, all of them, they have come out to want strongly that mm -hmm. nobody should listen to that because that was a very, very careless thing to say. Well, I do have a lot of things to say. Don't, but don't just defend him, because if you defend him now, my voice will start to rise. <laughs> you know what my well, voice are you rise? kidding me? You can share your opinion, <laughs> I can't share mine. No, but what? you're afraid to share your opinion, but I'm saying that you already hit the nail on the head. He was very careless. It's not a it beat. Was, it, was, it, was, it was not it was a beat. He was very was careless. careless. And he should, say, I mean, yes. things like this. But then again, you around. as an individual, you are in charge of your own mind. I mean, you just, you just don't let people pour into it and you're like, oh, okay, they said this. Okay, I go here. All right, they said this. So here we go. No, decide what you want and do research. So people who are gullible, I mean, it's at the end no, of the day, we can blame Donald Trump. He we, can blame, we can blame President Trump for what he says. A lot of people as well don't research. America chose a president like them. Okay. All right. We'll leave it there. <laughs> Dr. Babalala will join us right after the break. Like I give up for you.